there is a polio-like disease that is affecting children. The following video will explain the disease in further details. Stay tuned. In other news, federal health officials issued an unusual public warning about a growing number of cases involving a polio-like illness, mostly in children. Acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, has now spread to 22 states. 62 cases are confirmed. 90% of the cases involve children. The symptoms often include severe muscle weakness or paralysis. Dr. Tara Narula shows, shows us why this surge in cases is so concerning. And Tara, this gets scarier by the day. It does. It's rare, but certainly when you hear about it, it's very scary for parents. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the numbers jumped between June and September. Health officials want parents to know the symptoms because early diagnosis can help doctors get a handle on the disease. Every day, Jenna Shumpert and her three-year-old son, Hunter, do exercises to help strengthen his muscles. They use electric stimulation pads to help rejuvenate his damaged nerves. It's cold. It's cold. Let's rub it. Hunter's illness came on suddenly when he was just 15 months old. Initial symptoms were cough, congestion, runny nose, and he had a fever. Less than two weeks later, Hunter was hospitalized on a ventilator. At this point, he was paralyzed. Um, he could not hold his own head. He couldn't sit and he couldn't stand. A neurologist confirmed Hunter had AFM, acute flaccid myelitis. The CDC started tracking cases in 2014 when it counted 120 nationwide. Outbreaks appear to follow in every other year pattern. They jumped in 2016, and there are now 386 confirmed cases. We don't know what's causing this increase in AFM. It is truly a mystery disease. While symptoms are similar, health officials have ruled out any connection to polio or West Nile virus. For some of the previous cases, we've identified one pathogen or another, but we have no unifying diagnosis. <clears throat> Jenna Shumpert says Hunter has regained some strength since his diagnosis, but his future recovery remains uncertain. Nobody really knows treatment protocols. They don't know prognosis, and they can't really give parents an answer as to where this is coming from. Doctors say, well, this disease is rare, it is serious, with one death reported last year. It just breaks your heart to see what Hunter and his mom are going through. Can you give us more specifics about what parents should be on the lookout for? So many times it can start with what looks like a respiratory illness and a little bit of a fever. And really the hallmark is sudden onset of weakness in the arms or the legs. Children can also have trouble swallowing, trouble with their speech, a facial droop, trouble with their eye muscles. But the most feared and most dreaded concern is when it affects the diaphragm the muscle that helps us breathe, that's when children can really deteriorate and end up on a ventilator. And we know some children can recover and some have not. That's Should right. parents be asking their doctors about this issue? Definitely. I mean, early intervention is definitely always helpful. And unfortunately, there's no real treatments that have been proven to work, but early rehabilitation has been shown to help and preventive measures. So getting vaccinated, uh, taking precautions against mosquitoes, washing hands, all of these things are what's recommended by the CDC. Yeah. Never go wrong washing your hands repeatedly and mm -hmm. kids and not adults is very scary stuff. Thank you, Tara, very much. After watching the previous video, tell me, what do you think? What do you think about this polio-like disease that is affecting our children? Please leave your replies in the com comment section below. Thank you.